Hello, servers and visitors. It's your girl, Corinna Nicole, and welcome back to my channel. This is going to be a what I got for Christmas video. So if you like to see all the things that I got for Christmas, then keep on watching. Okay, you guys. So you guys know that I am grown, grown. So Christmas doesn't really come for me, but sometimes it does. And when it does, I do enjoy it. Um, my big thing for me is my birthday, which is coming up soon, you guys. So if you want to send me something, <laughs> Hit the comments down below and I'll tell you where to send it, honey. Not yet, in a couple days. Anyway, so if you like to see what I got for Christmas, let's start. So the first actual gift that I got that was wrapped up is this Alex and Ani bracelet. I'm going to actually put a picture up here so you guys can see. It's Alex and Ani bracelet and it's a little bracelet that says, A daughter is a little girl who grows up to be a friend. And I got those two items from my mother and it looks so cute on my arm with my apple watch does it not you guys like looks so dainty yes so that's the first thing that i got the next thing i got was a gift card from my stepfather and with that gift card i was able to get these things for myself for christmas so let's get to it i ordered some things from elf yeah you know, we have to get our makeup on. And Elf does not play with its packaging. Like, you got to go through layers and layers and layers and more layers of this box to get to the products. Like, they ain't playing when they send makeup out to make sure that it is not broken up. I've never ordered from the Elf website before. Normally, when I buy Elf products, I either buy them at CPS or if I see things in the Dollar Tree or Walmart. I purchased one, two, three, four four things from elf and then i got three free gifts so the first thing that i purchased was this palette called the new classics and it just has the news in there and what i do like about elf this time is that they are upping their game on their packages like y'all this looks like an expensive palette like if i were to just see this palette somewhere that sh I wouldn't think that it was Elf, but it is really nice. It has names of the shadows now. It has some mattes and it has shimmers. And this is a great new everyday palette, which I am definitely going to be using as an everyday palette for work and things like that. And that camera is not even picking up those colors. Not at all. So that is the new classic palette. I also picked up the Opposites Attract palette. Okay. And you know, this one has some daytime colors, some night colors, some mattes, some shimmers, and it looks like so. And again, you guys, the camera is just not picking up how vibrant these colors are. Like that purple does be, this camera is not doing it any justice. Like, saucy color right here. That saucy color is really, really nice off camera. So, if you guys get a chance, to even just look at these palettes, go in somewhere and look at them because they are really, really nice. Okay, and they are 18 pan palettes. So, two palettes, if you're just beginning, would be great, even if they're gifts for someone who's just beginning. These are really good. And then, you know, these were $14, I think. I can't remember. I also picked up two lippies. I picked up a velvet matte and a moisturizing one. Um, I picked up one of each because I don't know which way I want to go this year. I don't know if I want to do mattes. I don't know if I want to do creamies. I don't know. I just know that I want to get back into the makeup game. And let's start somewhere. So I got this one, velvet matte, bare bro photo. Did I say that right? I don't know. Of like berry colors like this anyway. I'll just do something to me. And then I got the moisturizing one in rosy go round. It's like a pinkish color. So soft and smooth, you guys. So those are the two colors. That is the berry. What is it called? Yeah, the berry photo. And this is the rosy go round. And again, those packages look like this. You guys. So go and try those out. And then the three free items that I got were actually pretty good items. Like I can't lie. Like Elf gave me some free stuff, and I'm digging it, okay? So, they gave you the Shape and Stay Wax Pencil in Clear. 
and a clear wax pencil helps shape and tame brows for a flawless look and stays put. So I'm assuming you draw wax onto the eyebrows and brush into place wear along or after applying your brow color. So you can really use this alone or you can put it on top of your brows after you have done your brows to keep them in place. Almost like a eyebrow gel. And then it get, they gave us this lip exfoliator in brown sugar. I had this before, never really tried it, so I'm definitely going to give it a try this time. And it also gave you a mineral infused face primer in clear. And it gives us a little stick about a must have. So, a face primer, like they're giving out, I don't even know if this is a full size or if this is a mini, but they're giving out a good size um, face primer. Like they're trying to really sell their products and get their game up. So, I will be trying this out very soon. I also ordered me some things from Target. Now, let me tell you about Target, y'all. Target is so weird to me. But anyway, so I initially placed the order at Target. I got a box one day. It was a big box. The box is actually bigger than this. And this was the only thing that was in there. And I didn't read the email correctly because it told me that the um, things were coming in separate packages, packages. But I didn't read that. So anyway... I got two separate packages, and the first one, like I said, the box was way bigger than this. Had a bunch of bubble wrap in there, and it only came with this NYX Control Freak Eyebrow Gel. And that looks like that. And I wanted to try a new eyebrow gel out because I normally only use the um, L. Please use this one from L. But I thought about it, like, you're not really getting a lot of product in here because you have the two sides, you have the mascara, you have the eyebrows. So it's like, let me try something else out. And I read up on this one, they said it was pretty good, so I did pick that up. Talk about this, Katy Perry um, Cat's Eye Eyeliner in matte. And it is in the color Midnight Matte. My package was broken when I got it, so I'm like, should I call my property act the food about the package being broken? Or should I just let it ride because it was in its box? Take that. But anyway, this is what it looks like. And it has the brush on one end. I mean, the eyeliner on one end. Call it Sydney Lillian. And she swears by her Pons um, face moisturizer. So I decided I was going to pick up one as well. And this is actually the Pons Dark Spot Corrector Cream. Because I do have some spots on my face. I said I tried this out. And it is still in the same type of formula. So I'm excited to see what this does for my skin. I'm really excited to try it. I tried the NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop. Oh no, the NYX Stay Matte but Not Flat line. Okay, so what I did was I picked up the powder foundation and I picked up the liquid foundation. I picked them both up in the same exact color, but if you can see on camera, these colors look completely different. So this is the Stay Matte Not Flat Powder. And it looks like that. And this is the liquid foundation. So the reason I picked up the powder and the foundation was for the simple fact that when I go to work, I can use the powder because it's easy, it's lightweight, it won't really, you know, it's not too heavy it's on my face, all that good stuff. I picked up the liquid foundation for other days. But you guys, it sounds really, oh, okay. I just guess it just had to be mixed up. It sounds really, really liquidy. Now, I am very concerned with these two obviously different colors. Okay? So, like, let me, got, let me know, you guys, if these are going to match. Because, I don't know. What do you guys think? So let me know. Okay, so I was actually looking at my mom. My mom has been wearing these um, flat little booties. And I'm like, oh, I want some of those. They'd be cool for work and things like that. So I found some. I got me a black brown brown pair. They're a little different. So this is the brown pair that I picked up. You guys, I actually got these from eBay for like $13, you guys. $13. So we're going to see how they work out. I wore the black ones and the black ones were actually really, really nice. Really, really comfortable. Really, really well made. So... I'm very excited to try the browns. I have not tried the browns. So these browns are like this. They have like this little um, folding detail, I guess, like distress the detailing. And it, this one has this uh, wooden heel. And I wanted something that wasn't loud either because I do a lot of walking at work. Like I walk up and in the hallways. I walk all around my room, things like that. And I don't want anything else to be loud. So I did pick these up like this, you guys. And I am so excited to try them and wear them 
with little jeans, little skirts, little dresses, things like that. And then this is the black pair. I think the, I think the black pair was actually fifteen dollars. The black pair was fifteen dollars. The brown pair was thirteen dollars. And these actually came from um, they're by the brand Portland, but they came from Shoe.com. That is what it's called, shoes.com, whatever the case may be. Um, and then this is the black pair. It looks like this. Just regular faux leather with the soft bottoms. And like I said, I wore these. Um, if you watch my last vlog that was up before this, you will see that I had these on because I showed you guys what I wore that day. I wore these and these were really, really comfortable. Um, I wore them with some jeans, cuffed at the bottom. So, yeah, and I can't wait to wear them to work and see how that works out. The thing that I purchased for myself was this con air um three in one iconic styler and this is just a bow dryer you guys with the styling comb the bristle brush and a tangling comb the reason why i picked this up is because i have to do baby girl's hair and i'm actually getting ready to take my hair down and i want to do a stick press on my natural hair and it's very um I don't know, you really need a blow dryer so you can blow dry your hair straight before you actually put those flat irons in your hair. So I did pick this up for that and I am actually looking for some great um, tip press products to use. So if you know some, leave them down below in the comment section. But this is another thing that I purchased for myself with some of the money and gift cards that I did get for Christmas. And then the last thing that I got for Christmas is this prayer journal from my mother. My mother heard me talking about prayer journaling because some girls on the Facebook were talking about prayer journaling and she actually picked this one up for me. This is actually going to be in one of my videos when I do my plan with. I'm not going to do a plan with me. I'll probably just tell you guys about my planners. Um, but this will be in that video because I'm going to do the journaling. I'm going to do a personal planning, a family planning, and then a school teaching planning so you guys will see all of that in a video coming up soon and again this is just the prayer journal and it's by choice books it says quiet moments for busy days so guys those are the things that i got for christmas so i would love to know what you got for christmas what was the but your favorite thing that you got for christmas leave it down in the comment section below and remember the girl's birthday is coming up so you know i want to do something big on my channel just for that so thank you guys for watching make sure you're watching those videos that are scrolling on this screen click my face right here and subscribe and i will see you guys in another video bye